All right, so we're going to make a quick little video for the graphics because I've searched and searched and searched, and they're all not very informational or they're all just incredibly too long and it's being dragged out. So here's my quick guide to World of Warcraft settings in 2024. A lot of these are optional. This is just what I run, and my my settings are good. I get about 80 to 100 frames per second, and the game looks pretty good. Um, oh crap, yeah, so this is what I was, this right here, this is what we don't want to do, UI scale, shut that off, and it will put it all back to normal, I messed that up, but that's one thing you don't want to do, keep UI scale checked off, but what we want to do is we want to have your monitor to primary, the game that you want to be in front of you, or the screen you want it to be on you can choose it here primary is what I go for a full screen is always what you want to run resolution you want it to be your native resolution you can go into your settings go to display and you can check your resolution there and then you want this to match it vsync is completely optional you can have it disabled or enabled I like to have it enabled low latency that is also a optional setting you can have it on boost reflex or reflex boost sorry or Navita reflex I liked it on run it on just reflex anti-aliasing this one I like to run it on multi sample multi sample technique just because it gives me the best picture and it keeps my FPS where I need it to be and want it to be multi sampling technique I don't really change that color 2x2 two two, it's fine with me FOV have it all the way up to 90. There is a command out there that you can increase your FOV from this. You can increase it by 37%. I don't like to run that because I like my FOV right where it's at. UI scale back to that. Don't check it because it'll do just what happened in the beginning of the video. Alright, so these right here, these are also optional. You can run low. Didn't see much of a difference back there, you know. Well, I mean, you can kind of see a difference, but it doesn't really affect it a whole lot. It jumped me up to about 144 frames per second. But I like to keep all my stuff at high settings just to keep it running smooth. Like I said, all this is optional. If you want higher FPS, you can definitely switch you know, to low. But I like the density. I like the way the game looks. Um, liquid detail. You can put it on fair. Or good. I again, I like to run everything on high. Particle density. Now this one is is kind of you know important because all the particles that you really need to get and see. And I feel like if you don't have that, where you know at least decent, good, then you're not really getting what you can. Outline mode. We like to keep that on high because outline mode is when you go up to say like a quest item and it shows the quest item it'll outline it so we like to keep that nice and visible texture resolution on high spell density now this can be optional essential will be for when you do your spells you will see your spells but when others do theirs like a mage and their mirror images they won't show them it only um, it focuses on your abilities but I like to have it on everything because I like to you know just see what everything that's going on these settings here I'm not going to get too deep into them but we want uh, filtering texture or texture filtering to be 16 ray tracing shadows if you have um, Navita RTX I like to keep it on high I don't really know if RTX is in this. So, this setting here, ambient occlusion type, you keep it on this. Resampling quality, this one's um, optional as well. It just depends on what you like and more. I like to go Fidelity FX, super resolution. VRS mode, I keep it disabled. Direct 12. For graphics API, I believe that is for the RTX. 
any of these other ones I'm not sure what they do but this is what I run and it runs pretty well for me player interactions uh, player and NPC graphics card auto detect obviously whatever GPU you have and that's really it everything here is personal preference I like to keep target FPS off that way you know if you do or if you are able to go over that FPS then you don't want it to be limited to that so honestly that's really it the video is not going to be too long it's not too in depth this is just what I run and my game looks fairly well and I'm running 117 120 100 FPS even in raids mythics all that good stuff well, I hope this video was kind of helpful for you because I know all those other ones out there are really long. Alright, until the next tutorial guys.